Hey everyone, today I'm going to be filming a Campanatus nuptial flight as well as naming my Chromatigaster colony. Enjoy today's video. But first, let's do our weekly update on the tree sapling. Now just last week we introduced this tree sapling to this little container, and since then it has grown about a third in height and it has gained two new leaves. The original leaves that this tree sapling had were its very first leaves and will eventually shrivel up and fall off the tree. Now this is an oak tree I'm pretty sure, and those leaves that are above it are what we'll be seeing from now on. Anyways, I have picked a few names from the comment section to name our chromatic aster colony and I'll put them in a poll right here for everybody to vote on. In next week's video I will be announcing which name ended up taking first place and whatever name did that's what the Chromatigaster colony will be named. Without further ado, let's get straight into the nuptial flight. I ended up finding one of the Campanatus nests that the kings and queens were coming from. Now, I must have been a bit late because there were no kings or queens coming out of the entrance, but the nest was located in a cut-off part of a tree. Now I'm pretty sure that this nest here is of the genus Campanatus pensylvanicus, but I'm not 100% sure because I caught at least two different species of queens when I went hunting for them. I'll get more into that in a minute. Now here's some footage of me catching the queens. Ah, that's better. I caught that queen right afterwards. Anyways, for those of you who don't know how to make a test tube setup, you first grab some purified water from a water bottle, preferably. Then you fill it up about halfway, grab a piece of cotton and stuff it into where the water is just coming out of the cotton. Then you stuff the other end of the tube with cotton. Here I have the same queen that crawled on my hand earlier, and I don't want to take her out of this tubing because if I do, then I might damage her. So what I do is I grab my syringe and push the cotton through the tube so that she on her own walks into the test tube. After that, I just block the other end with cotton so that she has breathing room and I let her be for a few months. Here are all five of my queens. Three of them have wings, unfortunately, which doesn't mean they're infertile though. And the other two don't have wings, which means they are 100% fertile because they took off their own wings before looking for a place to nest. Now, these three queens could be a different species of Campanatus because they are shiny with black legs which this means they could be Campanatus pensylvanicus. And these two are not shiny, and they have red legs, which means they could be Campanatus modoc. Now this queen is different from the other two that I already showed you. She has red legs and is shiny. Thank you all for watching this video, and I will possibly be uploading another video this week, depending on if I have content for next week or not. So I will be keeping you guys updated on these colonies, and I might be giving a couple away. Thank you all for watching this video, and I hope I can keep providing good content for you guys to watch, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.